allowed to see the kids. He can't be allowed, uh, uh, around you no way. Can't contact you. Nothing. Nothing at all. So if you wonder why the black community is destroyed. A lot of it have to do with you sisters. Okay? A lot of it have to do with you sisters. It's not just you know the system that we go up against we go up against a lot of you sisters also down near every woman in other countries they stick by their man okay they stick by him because it's the tradition they seen their mothers do it so of course it's going to be passed down to them these days it's not like that you sisters know what I'm talking about. A lot of mamas, you know, have that mentality. Mama got to have a life. Mama going to do what she want to do. Mama going to go to the clubs and party and do all this other bullshit. Okay? Instead of setting a good example. That's why you got a lot of women running around here being hoes. You know? No self-respect. Getting pregnant. Not not only getting pregnant, but getting pregnant by married men also. You know, it, it's just fucked up all, all over. Okay? And basically, I'm, I'm sick of seeing this shit. I'm, I really am. And uh, we, we need to clean up the black community. The way we live our lives. Okay? That's why we don't get no respect. From other people, even the poor third world nations, countries, we don't get no fucking respect, okay? Because they look at us as being worse off than them, morally anyway. Alright? That's why we don't have no status in the world. We don't. Black men, we look down upon because we don't take care of our family. We let the black woman run all over us. And why we let it happen? It's because of the, the way the laws, the system is set up. Okay? When a black woman doesn't have a black man in the household, she, she qualifies for all kinds of benefits, perks from the government, okay? And you know what? It's, it's more likely she will sell you out to get those benefits if she feels that you ain't worth it. Let's see. Get benefits from the government and do what do do what she want or be up under you and have some kind of order. But she won't look at it as being order. She'll look at it as being you controlling. Okay? And things like that. She always has some friend all up in her ear telling her what she need to do what she shouldn't do and her friend is the biggest hoe in the neighborhood okay the biggest hoe trying to tell her what to do when she doing right a lot of black women spoil other black women's minds okay and that's where the problems kick in you sisters need to get it together you need it to need to get it together. All right. You have all kinds of programs and bullshit telling the black man he need to get himself together, but you don't have nobody telling you that you need to get together. And I'm telling you right now, you sisters need to get it together. If you really want a confidant, you want somebody that's gonna love you unconditionally. Somebody, a black man that will die for your ass. Okay. You need to prove that you're worth it. You need to know your self-worth, okay? That's what you need to know. Nobody else going to protect your ass. When, when the shit hit the fan, it, all the economies collapsed. The Egypt collapsed, Rome collapsed, Babylon collapsed. The U.S., it, it's on its way, all right? It's on life support. And the main people that die in any kind of crisis, the first to go is usually women and children. Those are the ones who suffer the most. I don't give a damn if it's World War III. Women and children 
are the most casualties. If you don't believe me, look in Afghanistan, Afghanistan right now. Look at the Iraq, uh, Iraqis right now. Okay? It's women and children that die the most. Look at the Palestinians. The, yeah, the Palestinians. When Israel came and, and, and dropped all that shit on, that white pottery shit on them and stuff like that. More women and children died from that. Okay? So you sisters really need to recognize. You're not totally independent. I don't give a damn what that, what this whole uh, new generation saying about being independent. You don't need a man, etc., etc. White man will protect your ass when when he when his empire fall. You see who he, who he going up against right now. Okay, he got his own problems, just like we got our own problems. And when the shit hit the fan. You're going to need somebody to protect you. You're going to need a black man. You're going to need that brother that'll, that'll risk his life to protect you. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Because right now, you're on borrowed time. we all on borrowed time. Okay? And a lot of you sisters, you know, I, I, I love you sisters, but you, you, you got to get it together. You got to come to grips with reality. You know, all this nonsense, you know, this bullshit or whatever. And I'm talking about you dykes too. Yes, I'm talking about your asses as well. Because brother, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I see shit for what it is. I don't see you as being a dyke, a stud, film, whatever that bullshit y'all go by. You're still a woman. You are still a woman. You have estrogen in your damn system. You are still a woman. I don't care how much of a man you look like. I see you still as a woman. Okay? That's the way I see you. I don't... I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I can see through the illusion. You are still a woman. I see your, your chemistry. I know what makes you. I know the chemicals that makes you. And, 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 and your DNA. You're still a woman. I don't care what kind of clothes you put on. What kind of haircut you get. You are still a woman. And you know you're still a woman. You know you're still a woman. You might not want penetration from no man. But you'll use a dildo on yourself. Okay? Just keeping it real. Like I said, I'm not about no bullshit. I'm going to tell it to you raw. Okay? Because you need to hear it. You need to hear it. You need to hear it. And you might want to start putting on a dress when the shit hit the fan. Because you, like I said, you're still a woman. I don't care if you're in any kind of military. Or whatever. Women women don't don't get put on the front lines, okay, to die. Men do. Women don't start wars. Men do. Women don't fight in real wars. Men do. Okay? You still a woman. You need to know your place. That's fine. You you wanna do whatever you wanna do right now? That's fine. But you on borrow time just like the ref, rest of us. You need to go buy you a couple of dresses and stop wearing the pants. Get get a, get a head start on it. Because when you start seeing bodies drop, when you start seeing bodies stinking, you're going to want to put on that dress. Either you suit up and put on some boots, put on some gear, and be ready to die, fighting like a man or either you get under a man okay you put on a dress and you get under a man because those are the only two choices you're going to have you're going to be able to stand by another man in the wall as if you equal to him because you're not you're not a man you're still a woman you still have estrogen in your system I don't care if you have breasts 
in an A cup. You are still a woman. You need to recognize that. We have a lot of uh, lesbianism going on in the black community. Women getting turned out and all of that. That shit need to be, it needs to stop. Okay? It needs to stop, period. You know, I'm against uh, gays and lesbians, that lifestyle, okay? Because what are we sending to, sending to our children? To be like that? Fuck, if we all turn gay and lesbian, what don't nobody re reproduce? You see what I'm saying? We be extinct, okay? There's nothing like a woman, okay? There's nothing like a, a, a man having a woman and a woman having a man to be together. That's what completes you, okay? It ain't gonna happen with the same sex. And some of you sisters know what I'm talking about. You know, if you in a relationship with a woman, you gotta determine who take out the damn trash, who check the tire pressure, and all of that. Okay, I ain't been around lesbians, and I know I've seen that lifestyle. I know it. Okay, I see a lot of shit. Some of it I like, some of it I don't like. Lesbianism, gay, that shit is it's, it's spread it so it's become so damn perverted. Okay. I don't have nothing against gays or lesbians. I have something against that damn lifestyle. Because I'm going to be real with you. If, I'm, if I get shot or some shit like that. And I need some help. I need mouth to mouth resuscitation. If I need somebody to, to stitch me up. I ain't going to give a damn if you gay or if you lesbian. Okay? As long as you know what you're doing and you can fix me. I don't have a problem with that. I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm just saying I don't like that lifestyle. That's what I'm saying. Okay? Now, I'm going to talk about the Anunnaki a little bit. Okay? Because if, if you if you haven't watched some of the, the other videos, you're probably going to need to go back and watch or either read up on it a little bit. I'm sick and tired of people saying that the Anunnaki are evil, the Anunnaki were white, the Anunnaki were reptilians. That's not so. That is not so. You are looking at one of the descendants of the fucking Anunnaki, okay? R H Negative blood type. My blood type is A negative. It's not, I'm not blonde headed, okay? I don't have green motherfucking eyes, okay? But I am RH negative. I'm black and I have RH negative blood type, okay? That just speaks for itself. I'm not white. I'm not red headed like, like you read on the internet and other people saying. RH negative is not exclusive to white folks, okay? It's exclusive, generally the, the exclusive to black people, all right? Exclusive to black folks. The RH negative blood type is going extinct right now as we speak. How do I know I have it, okay? And if you read the statistics, you'll know that very few black folks have this blood type. Over 80% of the world's population has RH positive. The positive blood type meaning that you have that rhesus monkey gene in you. The rhesus monkey gene in you, yes. All right? Positive means yes. Negative means no. With that blood type, okay? Over 80, I'm talking about both black and white. Everybody around the world, over 80%, has that RH positive blood type. 
you have a lot of white people that have it also. But you have even 